What's going on, guys? Young Lee Jr. So, um, so we had Tania. She was one of the. She was an entertainer, and I think she shared a story back in 2022. But uh, she was on Soft White Underbelly uh, not too long ago, recently actually. And she was explaining about her story and how she met P. Diddy when she was coming up in the industry. And, and it was kind of crazy because um, during that particular time, uh, she was supposed to meet with this prince. It was like a high-ranking uh, Saudi Arabian prince. And he, I believe his name is Prince Azam, I believe. But he died back in 2020. But, um, you know, I think it's in 2018 when it took place. She was supposed to be there, you know, um, going out to this whole huge party. She thinking like, okay, I was supposed to be there for two weeks. And she basically was talking about her experiences. Now, which I find kind of key here too, because they probably could subpoena her for court uh, just, just to be a witness, you know, during a cross-examination as this goes to trial next year. Uh, she was stating that, you know, how she, you know, how orchestrated it was when she came to the party. She mentioned, I believe one of her sons was making sure that, uh, the people that were supposed to be in the mansions be in there, you know, things of that nature, confiscating cell phones. So I'm looking like, okay, they confiscating cell phones at a party. I'm like, that's a little weird. Then on top of that, too, she get in there, and she was saying immediately when she was there for like at least walking around for five minutes. I mean, she became very uncomfortable, according to her testimony. So you got to watch it on his channel. He has a big channel, uh, but uh, to get the full story. But other than that, man, I mean, she said she, she said something that was really key, and that was disturbing i have to say um dad we could say alleged minors there um that were kind of dressed up performing illegal acts uh for the adults in their entertainment and she was like are you serious you know so when i heard that i had to replay that for a little bit i was like man that is crazy man so uh, it's not it's not really looking good man i mean you have thousands of people talking about these things and it's just at this point man i mean what can you we just gotta you know prove that and then they got to show that to the jury in the court but i believe that she'll be a good witness if the feds probably entertain it uh just to get her story her side of it you know because he's actually been indicted on these freak offs you know and it might be some other additional charges too if they do the uh, superseded indictment but right now man it's not looking great for p diddy but it's up to the jury you're innocent to proven guilty um you know i'm gonna continue to do what i can to report this but i just thought her testimony was kind of key here and um it was just kind of heartfelt, man, at the end of the day, man. I, I know some people started judging her because the she, she was wearing revealing clothing and she has tattoos everywhere, but you still, you still, you know, you still got to hear this at the end of the day, man. She was still part of this. I mean, pretty much out of her own will. And then, too, when the prince wanted to leave her because uh, he was, well, trying to take her to Cuba. And she was looking like, I was supposed to be there for a couple of weeks, but she ended up leaving. So she actually testified as a survivor of the Diddy Party. And um, and this was like 7 a.m. She said people was just naked, walking around, drunk, intoxicated. And now I'm looking like, where do you get these small children from? Why are they even there? First of all, where is the consent of the parents and why they're there with a bunch of adults while adults are doing illegal things, you know, at the end of the day? You know, this is weird. So I'm trying to figure, like, did they, would they get trafficked? There's so much theories coming out. And I'm, I'm still listening to, like, Ali Carter and uh, what she was talking about, man. But um, just hearing this uh, whole interview, uh, I think it's about 20, 30 minutes long. It's not that long, uh, Tania. Uh, I'm just glad that she did that. And I'm pretty sure that, you know, as the day progressed and weeks progressed we're going to hear more of other people's stories and i want them to come out you know talk about this it's legit and things of that nature so um you know this is something this is something interesting here um i know uh diddy combs his family's in support of him but i mean they might go after his sons as well so whew, this is this is getting deep this is like a, a huge rabbit hole right now man so but hers was hers was very dark, man, at the end of the day, man. You know, just things that she had to suffer and go through as an entertainer, man. Just to kind of come up in the industry. I'm looking like, this is ridiculous, man. So, but y'all like, comment, subscribe, share this video. Y'all tell me what y'all think. If y'all actually watch the video and, you know, hear her testimony, uh, Tania, just, you know, let me know as well. Shoot, what you guys think about it. Keep it respectful in the comments. I love you guys. Support the channel. I love y'all. I'm out.